This is Mimo, Mike Mozart, and what you're looking at is the Crayola Sensations Stationary Embosser, which not only embossed, but it printed scented marker onto Kid Stationary. This is a product I designed and created around 2004 to 2006. What you're looking at is a handmade prototype. This is not production piece. I will show you in a moment. I'm making this for Instagram TV because there's so much to say about all these products. They use these Crayola Sensations markers. These would fit in a hole here in the top, right there. And they would rub against one of these embossing wheels. And the marker would cover the end of the embossing wheel. You would slide paper in this slot along the edges and it would print along the edges the designs that are on the embossing wheels. This is one of my actual products. You'd turn this crank and it would feed the paper through and, and print and emboss the paper. It was a great item. This is about 2004 and I designed about 40 to 50 products that were Crayola based products. And some were shown on infomercials. There was a very famous infomercial with one of them, the Crayola Color Wonder set. But I will show you inside this. Now this is a handmade prototype. Back then, this is early 2000s, the computer printed out samples really didn't exist. That 3D printing really wasn't viable to make prototypes. These prototypes were hand sculpted and they were often sculpted out of Bondo. This is made out of Bondo. And they would be machined on a milling machine and they would be hand sanded and hand sculpted. These would be hand painted. This is a hand painted prototype. That, that logo was probably cut off a, another Crayola product or printed on a printer, but since it's shiny and glossy, I'll bet it was just cut off another Crayola box and glued on there. And this interior piece is where you would change the embossing wheel. You would just pull the embossing wheel off and put on another one of these embossing wheels. And you can see that this is a handmade prototype. They're not like this anymore. Prototypes are beautiful and cheap, but back then these were difficult to make and very expensive. And you can see how the wheel would turn here if you grab that crank and spin that little wheel around. And the friction of those hearts would drag the paper through this little machine. So I'll put this little piece back on. Now, I have a lot of prototypes of a lot of the products I created. And I, I'm just trying to put up short videos. I'm not making gorgeous videos. I really wanted to make beautiful videos of all these different products I created. But there's just no time and I have so many products. I have over a thousand products I designed and created. So when these prototypes were made, they were shipped in these cases, these heavy-duty aluminum cases like to put medical equipment or cameras in. This was common in the 70s, 80s, and 90s when I was designing toys because these prototypes were very time-consuming to make and very expensive. The reason these were made is to show buyers. So they didn't actually manufacture this product until some buyer looked at it and played with it at Toys R Us or Walmart or Target and said, yeah, I like it. Let's, let's, let's go for it. Let's make it. We'll order a bunch for Christmas next year. And this is how the buyers would play with them. There'd be packaging made, prototype packaging, but they didn't pack them in the prototype packaging. This is very heavy because it's made out of Bondo. This weighs about three or four pounds, whereas the finished production piece is probably four or five ounces. But it really, these do look like the production pieces. And they no longer, well, they make scented markers now. I don't think they call them sensations anymore. But I have a lot more products like this. This was, this was designed and created by Mike Mozart, uh, Mimo on Instagram, Jeepers Media on YouTube, and the Toy Channel on YouTube. I used to review a lot of toys there. And if you follow me, you'll see that I have a lot more products.